Hello YouTube, it's More Than Luck, and uh, we're here today to shoot a couple different types of uh, air rifle rounds into some ballistics gel we made up. And so now I'm going to have my friend Sam talk about the different types of ammunition we've got here. This one is... Here, wait, so let's, let's take a shot let's... of this. This is flathead. Okay. And this doesn't penetrate very deep, but it'll give all the energy into the uh, gel, or normally what I shoot, little animals. And it's not as accurate because it's not uh, it's not very aerodynamic, so it's got a lower velocity. This is the standard target shooting one. This one here. Okay. And it's pointed, got a pointed tip, so it'll penetrate it far, but it's not as good for shooting like animals because it won't make a big wound channel. All right. And this is the last one. This is kind of the best of both worlds. You get the tip for accuracy and penetration. Then this pla this is plastic, so it breaks off, and essentially becomes a flathead. To deliver the energy so we got all four types here all right and so this is the last type of ammunition this is called hollow point and now tell us a little bit about that hollow point is actually um, a lot very similar to this not quite as good in performance because it doesn't have the uh, tip to break away so you don't get quite the velocity but compared to this it the uh, hollow point is dirt cheap compared to the uh, polymer tip so cool it's cool. a choice of a lot of small game hunters all right that's good and this is the uh, the air oh, rifle we'll be Gamo using. GX1. What is it called? Gamo GX1. Alrighty, and so we'll get this on our way. <clears throat> All right, so we got Sam set up here with this the standard target round, and we've got the ballistic shell set up over here on its side. So we're gonna see how deep it can penetrate. So let me get back over here, set it up on your mark. Yeah. There's a shot. Looks like he hit dead on. Oh man! Yeah. Okay. So we got like a, uh, I'd say like three, three or, three or four inch channel, at least. Straight in. in there. No, came out. Came out and still hit this here. So you can see he went up on an angle and it came out the top here and hit the brick. Where did it? Right there. All righty. Short rain delay. Yeah, short rain delay. But we'll be back. All right, we've had a bit of rain, so Sam's taking refuge in the car. This is the hollow point, which is a standard hunting round. And we've got the target set up there, lying on its side, so we can see penetration and exit wound. And uh, I'm going to set up right over here. On your mark. All righty. That was fast. Let's get over here. Yeah, you got it. Straight there. It stopped. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, this is about five inches in. Holy shit. And the round is stuck inside the gel right Dude, here. Someone get a ruler. Tommy, do you have a ruler? We'll get a ruler. Yeah. Tommy, can you get a we'll ruler? Get, we'll get back to you with the exact measurement. Uh, no. Dead you don't have a ruler. All right, so uh, we've got a protractor here, and you can see it's exactly five and a half inches and as you from can see the bullet. The, the wound channel, the trauma is big there. Get skinnier. Bullet's caught right there. The bullet is right there. That's really. You can't cool. really see it because I've got bad focus. Here we go. There you go. See the bullet stuck in there. Five and a half inches. Eight hundred and eighteen miles an hour. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. All right, All right move we'll on to get the polymer tip. Polymer tip's next. Alrighty, so next up is the polymer tip most, rounds. Most expensive. These are the most expensive, but they really you do get uh, the bang for your buck. We're gonna shoot these side by side so you can see, uh, you know, a straight up side by side comparison. We've got a rock here so that Sam knows to shoot to the right of the rock. And let's get this underway. I wanna get back over here. Alright, so here's your shot on your mark. Takes a shot, let's go check this out. And I think it's another miss. No! Oh, okay, look at this. You hit it this. You hit it in the exact same spot. It went, far, it went farther though. You can see no, no, here's the, the orange tip falling. No, 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 look. No, Tommy, it went less you hit far. it in the exact same spot. The orange tip is there. And then the other round <laughs> it is It went here. in the same hole? Exact same hole. Sam, come on. Are you shitting me? No joke. You can see there's the, uh, the polymer tip right there that's broken off. And here is the, um, like the rest of the round. Oh, no, it's lower. Oh, so no, and look at this. 
And here's a bit of the metal of the round that broke off. We only got about uh, four, four and a quarter inch it. per penetration. It's supposed to be four and a fourth. Four and a fourth inch. Alrighty. As opposed to the five and a half we got. With which the is actually point. better. Which is what you want. You want yeah. less penetration, so that way you're delivering more of the energy and into the animal. In the little animal. Yeah, this definitely would have much, done, much, done much more damage. As you can see, there's a much bigger wound channel too. See, well, I think that's probably just because it's shot no the, the polymer same spot. tip. That's two separate wound channels. Fair enough. Okay. So we have a little piece of plastic stuck in That's there. cool. Alrighty, we'll get set up with our next round. Alright, so Sam's gonna say something about the uh, flathead. Flatheads are kind of useless. They don't really do anything. They're slow, big, bulky, no penetration. But they look really cool when you shoot pop cans because they'll just explode. Like all the energy is going to be transferred right into it. All right, we're using the same piece of ballistics gel because we are uh, ready. We're trying to get a side by side comparison. Ready? So let me get set up. On your mark. Okay, let's go check this out. Sam thinks he misses, but I don't. No, he didn't. Oh my God! Exact. It looks like it's another five and a half, uh, five and a half inches. Get out our protractor. So this kind of contradicts everything that Sam said. Oh, it's there. a little shorter. It's a little. Shorter. Five and a fourth. Five and a fourth right next to it. You can see the uh, entrance channel is really nice shot, big. Nice soldier. Really wide. Really wide. It goes wow, in that's here. a good Here's pellet. The... Huh. So that worked well. So you can see uh, three of the rounds, three of the rounds side by side right here. And, uh, yeah. Wait, do we have another round? All right, so this last shot, it's uh, another of the normal rounds. Just so we can get them all in the same block. Okay? On your mark. There's a shot. Let's go check this out. Yeah, it went in the deepest. Okay, you can see this third channel right here. It goes all the way, and you can't kind of see that, but the bullet's right there. Where's the protractor? It went to the Did bottom. Did it come out? No, no, no. There you can see the ball is very good. The side. That looks really cool. Here, I flipped it upside down. Then you can see it better because it's closer to the bottom. I have a feeling if that went straight, it might have gotten... Tommy, really get a close. new ruler, yeah. too. This is longer than six. You've got the, uh, the round that went here. Oh, and then right there is the bullet, which stops. And I'm going to say, I'm going to call it at, uh, well, the channel kind of bends. So I'd say it's about uh, six inches. So that's that. Ready? Alright, so Sam's gonna try to quick scope this uh, shaked up can of DDP. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Hold on, wait, let me get both of you in the shot. So you can see it's legit. Go for it. Oh, that was not a quick scope. Hold Go on. for it again. I think you missed. No, he hit it. <laughs> it didn't explode, damn it. Were you using a flathead round? Yeah, I must have just clipped it though. Probably. Alrighty, so right now we've got four little pieces of ballistic gel lined up on top of the brick, and Sam's gonna take four shots as quick as he can, try to knock him off. He's going from right to left. On your mark. One, that was a hit. Here, come on, give me another one. Alright, loaded. Loaded and ready to go. That was a hit too. Saw the gel miss. Gel uh, shake. Fuck, dropped it. Find it. Look at your car. Loaded. Loaded, okay. This is three. I'm going for the most far left. It's going far left. That was a miss. Fuck. Alright, roll it up. It's good. Now it's four shots, and let's check. Actually, I think that was three shots, but let's check. Three shots, you can see this one went straight through, this one went straight through, and then he missed this one. So he got two out of four, out of, two out of three. So that's pretty good. These little pieces. What, ha what happened to this?
All right, so right now we're going to uh, light a bottle rocket inside ballistics gel just for the hell of it. Ready? Whenever you're ready. That's pretty cool. Wait, it's not done, I don't think. Yeah, it's done. Okay. Let's get in there. Do all the smoke. Oh my god. You definitely, definitely would have just killed somebody. Alrighty, so, uh, this is about a week after we shot, actually, but I just wanted to show the gels the final time. Um, you can see, this is Sam's gel, you got the polymer tip right there. I think the flathead round there, the standard target round, hollow point, and another standard target round. I've got these on white paper for contrast. You can see, and then his uh, his spread on the side of the gel is about a half inch. You can see there's only three holes because one, two of the bullets went in this hole. So that's you know pretty cool. And then I've got uh, after we shot that, I shot a few rounds into this piece of the ballistics gel we had left over. I shot I think f uh, no four rounds, and uh, you can see. The bullets actually went straight through and out the back. Uh, you can see there's like the exit wounds are those two holes there are, are part exit wounds and then uh, it ripped where the other two were. But you can see my spread right there is actually a little bit smaller than Sam's was. Five rounds, you know, there's one, two, three, four, and then the fifth round is there. Just thought I'd point that out before I got rid of it.